The Colonial Pipeline is scheduled to resume operations this evening, but that doesn't mean gas will suddenly become plentiful again, Rory. Now that's right. AAA warned us yesterday that it will take several days for gasoline to make the long journey through the pipeline and return to Tennessee. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us what that could mean out at Nashville International, where their fuel supply is running low. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely a fanatic. <laughs> Even when Hunter Alexander is grounded. Nothing keeps me from airplanes. I love coming out here on a good day like this. His eyes are on the skies. Just like that right there, just to catch action live and, you know, just see the sights and hear the sounds. And... He's currently training to become a pilot. I think it's a very exclusive club of professionals. But Hunter is worried about what it'll mean up in the air regarding an issue deep below our feet. This is as worst timing as it can possibly be, is right when we're trying to get rolling. So this is definitely not what we're looking forward to. The Colonial Pipeline is scheduled to resume operations, but it will still take a few days for that fuel to reach Nashville International Airport. Obviously, we run on a lot of fuel, so that's definitely going to put a kink in our plans. In the meantime, BNA is feeling a short term squeeze. Normally, they keep about 6.6 .6 million gallons of fuel on site to help refuel planes. Right now, that's down to about 750,000 gallons. As much as I love flying, we need gas. You know, we gotta we gotta go somewhere somehow, and that's the gas. To help ease concerns, Southwest Airlines is actually asking a lot of their flights to bring enough fuel for this leg and the next leg of the journey so they don't have to refuel when they're here in Nashville. Definitely, because I don't want to get stuck here. I've already missed a week of work, so I need to get home. <laughs> Thankfully for travelers, flights haven't been impacted. We'll figure it out. We'll get through like we always have, right? In the meantime, these travelers hope another shortage has taught us a lesson. Rather than looking out for everybody, just making sure you got enough to get you through the week, they're, they're short than everyone else, unfortunately. So That in moments of crisis, being grounded and rational makes all the difference. And so you just have to adapt and kind of just overcome whatever's thrown in your face. Chris Davis. We're kind of just keeping our fingers crossed and hoping everything works out in the end. News Channel 5. If you see exceptionally high prices at the pump, remember that price gouging is illegal in Tennessee. Make sure you report the issue to the state through the Department of Commerce and Insurance. You can also contact the business directly to complain.